Hello everyone, we will continue the topic hot key in search help. In the previous videos, we understood the full concept. We understood in the SAP standard transaction BA02. Then after that, we started with our own practical. And as a part of that, we finished with the first two steps. We created two elementary search help. Then we created one collective search help by combining the two elementary search help. Now, what we will do, we will create a program. In that program, we will assign the search help, collective search help to the VBELN sales order number. And then we will see the behavior of hot key there. So what I will do, I will simply go for the creation of the program. I will go to SC38 transaction board and I will create a program. Suppose I will say Z demo on hot. I will go for create. Suppose I will write demo on hot key. I will choose the type as executable program. I will save this program as a local object. Now, I will take a parameter into this program. You can take select option also. It's totally your wish because ultimately we want to understand all. Suppose I will go for parameters. P underscore VBELN. Type data element. Now you all know how you can assign the search help. The keyword is match code object. And I will pass the name of the collective search. This is the name of the collective search. I will simply, as I am assigning the collective, sorry, it is without quotes. So I assigned this collective search help to this particular parameter. I will activate. Now I will provide the selection text. Go to text elements, selection text. I will go for DDIC reference. So this sales document is coming from our data element. Now I will simply run. So we have this is the collective search help. Suppose if I will go for simply F4 help, I'm not going for any hotkey, nothing. I'm going for first. Have you seen? We are able to see two search help. Search help for sales order number based upon username. Search help for sales order based upon, if I, will say, if I want to see the full name, I can check here also. Search help based upon sale. Search help for sales order based upon document category. First important thing, hot key is coming before that. This is our first search help. This is our second elementary search help. What is the hot key A? What is the hot key B? And you can see, this is your screen position. This is your screen position. When I created the elementary search help, we took both as the screen position. This is our screen position. If I will simply do or if I will simply execute, you will get the list position. This is our list position. Both things are there in the list position. Both things are there in the list position. Now, if I will simply, simply double click, have you seen only sales order number is exporting? That's why I only take the export for the sales order number. Same thing is for second search help also. If you will go for second search help, both are in the screen position. If I will go for OK, both will be in the list position. And whenever you will double click, only sales order number is exporting. That's why I told you, whatever you are doing, it will reflect there. Now what customer is saying, this, we took two search help, this thing, if we have so many search help there, customer is going for one search help, customer is clicking onto that tab, 
but customer is saying i just want a shortcut that i can directly move on to that elementary search shell so how you can do you can use the hot key suppose if i will put equal to and what is the hot key of the first search shell a i will go for f4 and you can see it is directly navigating me to first search shell and this is our first point also if you are going for hot key without restriction we are not going for restricting the values we are not going for any restriction if i will simply go for f4 it will one dialog pop up will come one dialog pop up will come for restricting the values yes dialog pop up is coming if i will simply simply go for equal to b what is the hot key for the second search shell b if i will go to f4 help you can see it is taking me to the second search help directly b is coming and the dialog pop up is appearing now i will go for second point if you are going for restrictions if you are defining the restriction then dialog pop up will not come suppose customer is saying i want to go for first search help and i am always going for the username suppose r mehta so simply what customer will do equal to a now suppose if i will go to f4 help uh, this created by is your second selection it is not your first selection so how you will put i will simply put dot we are not going for first value i will put dot now i will go for second value r mehta now people will say now this length is small how i can put the full name see whenever you declare whenever you declare rather than this data element you can take any other data element which has the larger length so that you can put the full entry or you can simply declare pvbln20 type c so you can put up to 20 characters yes i will go to f4 and i will put suppose equal to a dot i am not going for first dot i will put my what is my id r at whenever i will go for f4 help now the dialog pop up will not come now if you see have you seen dialog pop up is not coming i am directly getting the sales order which is with my id if i will show you here you can see r mehta is here now if you want to see how that value passed yes if i will simply select and why this sales order sales order because we only tick the sales order must be exported now if i will go for second suppose if i will go for second search help i am not going for order number suppose if i will show you by second search help now we are not going for this sales order number we are going for sd document category it is at second position suppose i will put equal to b dot not first value dot suppose i am going for sales document category a if i will go to f4 help dialog pop up will not come directly i am getting the result if you want to see the dialog pop up you can see here also the document category a passed the so second point is covered now now what is third point if we have exactly one record based upon the restriction then nothing i will directly get the result suppose i already have noted down one username for that we have only one record in the table this is the username suppose i am going for equal to a not sales order number first selection dot i will put this username so there is only one record in that table with this username if i will go to f4 help you can simply see i directly get the sales order number 6 because i get the get the result there is no dialog pop up there is no selection nothing just simply simply i am getting the sales order number 6 if i will show you in the table if i will go for this input you can see the sales order number 6 has this name so this is how hot key and just see how benefited is it is customer time is saving a lot rather than searching here and there 
going to dedicated elementary search help, then passing the restriction. Nothing. It's very, very easy if you know how to use the hotkey because this is all about short notation. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I created the program and I used the collective search help. I declared one parameter and assigned the collective search help to that parameter. And you all know how to assign the search help through the match code object. After that, I showed you that whenever we are going for F for help, hot key is coming before the description of the search help. Your screen position is coming, list position is coming, everything is there. Yes. Now, if you are simply, simply putting equal to and hot key, then it will take you to that particular search help. But the dialog pop-up will come. Now, you can pass the restriction also equal to hot key dot restriction dot restriction. We are going for restriction of username. So I put after the I put the value after the second dot because it is at the second position. Then similarly, I showed you for the second search help also. Then I showed the third combination. If we have only one record, then nothing. No dialogue pop-up will come. Nothing. No search help will come. It will not take you to elementary search help. Directly, we will get the result. So this is all about the full topic of the hotkey. Firstly, we understood by SAP example, and then we created the pro program. We used the hotkey there. So this is all about hotkey. Thank you.